Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Runner Studio. This is your host, Tom. And with me, as always, are Aaron, Michael, and Diana. Hello. 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 Uh, this is our mini series uh, where we get to know folks from our running community. And today we are blessed to have my childhood friend. I think I've known you for about 30 years now. Um, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm all right. <laughs> well, now I so, feel like I've been I'm questioning blessed, years. but I'm, I'm here with you anyway. So that's right. <laughs> yeah, we are blessed. We're blessed to have you, Sean. Oh, thanks. I'll let it go straight to my head. <laughs> please, please do. Um, so, Sean, this is the, you know, the format. We're going to ask you a bunch of um, rapid fire questions. Some are going to be running related. Some are going to be just random. Um, but before we get into that, can you tell us who you are and where you're from, even though I kind of just spoiled it? Yeah, uh, I'm Sean, uh, or Sean Ferry, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, if there's a Sean Ferry, it's probably me, unless it's not. Um, but I got in early <laughs> enough to that that's my name in most platforms. Uh, I'm from originally Columbia, Maryland, and various other places in the uh DMV area, and I am currently in uh, Holyoke, Massachusetts. It's funny, Sean, when I first met you, Tom was like, you're going to meet my friend, Scary Sean Ferry. And then I was <laughs> like, why is he scary? And then I met you and I was like, I don't know why anyone would be scared of Sean. I was like, was were, was it something growing up? I don't know where that moniker came from. Is it just because it rhymed? I don't know where it came from either, because I didn't hear it until uh, I was back in town I, I don't know, in the early 2000s, and someone's like, oh, it's Scary Sean Ferry. And I was like, I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> <laughs> See, it seems unfair. It seems unfair. Uh, like, I could, just... No, I could totally get behind it. I, yeah. I was I was probably scarier when I was younger. Were you in like, I don't know, were you like goth or something weird that would have scared people in high school? I take offense at you calling goth weird. I still <laughs> identify. I didn't say weird. I said scary. Whatever you said, I think you said weird or scary. We can roll back the tape. <laughs> Let's go to the tape. It's okay. Oh, I thought I was punk in high school and had really, really big jeans and tiny shirts and pink hair. So, lots of plastic bla- bracelets were in my past. Oh my gosh! Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand the scary, but I'll, I'm just, I'm owning it now, and it's fine. I love it. Oh gosh! All right. All right. Now I think it's just the beard. I know that I, I know I that the in audio medium, this is great for all of the listeners, but the, the beard I have not shaved in at least a year. And I just looked at a picture from literally a year ago. I was like, man, I had like no beard then. Well, you have to <laughs> share your picture will have to be of you with the beard so that when we put out the episode art, people will be able to see what go. we're talking about. Yeah, just the COVID the beard. COVID is a little beard, yeah. <laughs> all right. So Diane is going to kick us off with your first question. Oh, Awesome. All right. What is your favorite run of all time? Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a race, but even just like a run where you felt really good. My favorite, although it's certainly not like the best, well, I guess it was a PR at the time. Uh, my favorite, just because of how ridiculous it was, is the Burning Man 50K. Uh, after not sleeping for nearly enough for a few days, I got up at three o'clock in the morning to go run 50K in the desert. And it was in fact a PR, even though uh, it was not super fast. Sean is Sean's crazy. Like you two, like I, <laughs> just the 50 K's and the deserts and the, I love it. I Where is burning I man? It. I know I've heard of it. Uh, burning man is in the desert in Nevada. Okay. Uh, it's, well, it's canceled. Well, is it uncanceled this year? I don't know. Um, but it's, what are you, 65,000 people for uh, a couple of weeks or so, plus a bunch of support staff setting up and tearing down and things that go on for months. I feel like uh, I've heard of this, but I've, or I've looked at it. Have oh, we yeah. looked at this one before? No, I mean, Burning Man is a festival. Okay. Yeah, it was like, is it connected uh, to the festival okay. and you do it as part of the festival or... Yeah, actually, some of my friends will hear this and they'll be like, you did a terrible job describing Burning Man as a burn organizer. You're a terrible person, but that's fine. Uh, it is. Some of the other participants at Burning Man put on 50K. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So uh, are you a trail runner or a road runner or a little mix of both and why? A little bit of both, primarily trail running. Uh, I have run on roads 
and like paved trails, like the uh, the Wad in DC, uh, I've probably run thousands of miles on that rails to trails, like paved trail. Mm -hmm. Um, but I really do enjoy trail running a lot more. I've never run a, are there even road ultras? And if so, I really am sorry for whoever's doing them. Uh, I did. Uh, trail ultras? <laughs> there, there aren't very many. I did what Marine Corps called the first urban, uh, 50 K, uh, cause Marine Corps added a 50 K to their, uh, their race series last year or two years ago. So there are road 50 Ks. They are very hard on your body. I don't recommend <laughs> them, <laughs> but they exist out there. I don't know if, we'll, if we get to this in the other questions. And I once ran 45 miles pacing someone through uh, a double iron, and that was kind of ridiculous. Oh, my um, gosh. But a that, double that was iron. Long roads and flow and, like, it was fine. It was just like, man, this it's monotonous running on roads. I like yeah. running on trails. Yeah. Well, it can be pretty, and the scenery seems to change more. Bad Water 135 also is road. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. 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 Bad water. Oh God, my gosh. You want to talk about grinding on road? One hundred thirty-five <laughs> miles. My gosh! <laughs> right. And stick to the stick to the painted lane lines so your shoes don't melt. Yeah, so you don't melt. Yeah. We're we're trying to get Tom into the uh, trail ultras. You want to I join? Have, do you want to join my do my this trail out like just in my backyard? Basically, it's a little bit hilly, but I think you might hate it, and I think you should come do it anyway. Join <laughs> join my camp <laughs> join my campaign and and re- having Tom recruit run a Tom. recruit Tom for a fifty k. We're we're doing it. Tom, I am totally down to crew and pace in, in 50 Ks. I've, I've definitely I've paced some of my other friends through uh, their first 50 Ks and it has been fantastic. I really enjoy mm-hmm. it. Even though I haven't, I'm not nearly in shape to run 50 K right now, but uh, I would, I would love to come and, and crew you anyway. Well, and you're probably so good cause you're so like supportive and encouraging, but like you also have a little authority behind you. So I feel like you'd be a fantastic pacer. <laughs> It's like the perfect mix. A, yeah. A, yeah, you actually, and, yeah, you do actually. Yeah, you do actually need that. Running the beep button, but I, I once was encouraging him by calling him a bag of chewy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and it worked, and it was and in context, it all made sense. Uh, but you know, it's uh, that, that's pretty much how the, the thing went <laughs> after the first few miles. He, he had finished drinking three beers on the run, and he's like, "I just feel terrible." I'm like, "Well, who, who's, whose fault is that?" You did it to <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I know we were drinking all last night and the day before, but like, you know, come on, we got to do this thing now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, jumping off of that, what was the uh, worst day you remember running in a race or any anything? Yeah, we went from favorite um, to worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, the worst, it might be a toss up between the Frederick Marathon, which doesn't happen anymore, and the Baltimore Marathon, uh, the year I ran it with a fever. Oh, gosh. Um, because I had signed up for the Maryland uh, double or whichever one of the ones that gets mm-hmm. you the extra medal. And then, so you yeah. just gotta do it at that point. Um, and the marathon, the Frederick marathon got really cold and I felt terrible. And my heart rate was just like pegged in that just horrendous. And I finished it anyway. And then Baltimore, I went out and ran it feeling a little bit off and ended up realizing at the end that I had a fever and you know, like it, it took me five hours and 20 minutes or something. Uh, like I'm not a super fast runner, but that was even more slower than oh God. The plan. And it just like terrible. I still have a shirt I found on the road. I felt cold <laughs> and terrible. And I picked up a shirt <laughs> that somebody had discarded because it wasn't super cold out. And I put it on like an Under Armour skin tight oh shirt. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is better. I was like, man, I am in really bad shape right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane oh that my does god sound awful. so okay so if you're running a race what is your favorite thing to see or have at an aid station oh it depends on the kind of race um i'm gonna mispronounce it but hash watch a 50k in maryland uh every time i ran that always had pierogies um oh, that's good. You know, pierogies on the run like just a cheese pierogi mm. uh or yeah, I mean, like boiled potatoes and salt. Those are great. Yeah, um, that's my favorite. Gunpowder, fat ass 50K had quesadillas mm-hmm. and like, Ooh. Oh God, just, just a cheese quesadilla. So good. Tom, um, this is why you run. This is okay. Double Iron had uh, the one where I ran the 45 miles in pacing. I had uh, for breakfast, I had sausage and I think bacon wrapped up in a pancake with syrup as I was running and eating. <laughs> 
Uh, and what? in theater, I had a, I think I had a whole hamburger with fixings, yeah. like not in fries, like on, or it was cheeseburger on the run. And it's like, what I, so look, I like any kind of ridiculous food at an aid station. Cause yeah, I, don't, like, I don't run hard enough that I can't yeah. digest food most of the time. So like, whatever, I just like, this food looks like food and I want to put it in my face hole. I can't even imagine. That's I can't so, imagine eating that and continuing to run. Tom, this is why you run ultras. This is this is why I'm trying to get you to run ultras because the food stations at ultras are like these amazing buffets. I mean, in COVID times, they've they've kind of ramped down a little bit, but prior to that, they were just these disgusting places where everyone in their sweaty hands just grabbed, grabbed quesadillas yeah. and candy potatoes and burgers and, and potatoes yeah. and hot dogs. It was, a, yeah. it was amazing. Absolutely. I will say, though, that you've been trying to get me to sign up for a ultra. The last 30 seconds of what Sean just said is the most compelling argument <laughs> that I've heard <laughs> towards that goal. So, yeah, grilled cheeses is my favorite, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, would, I would house a grilled cheese. Oh, or something gosh. Probably. So good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's let's move on. So, Sean, do you use a training plan or coach when preparing for a race, or do you just wing it? Uh, if I was actually training in a meaningful way right now for anything, uh, I would probably use the um, Ultra Ladies uh, training plan. There, uh, it's online. They actually there's a calculator where you can plug in your race date, and it'll do. You can like I think you could tell it like I want to run long on Saturdays or something. And here's the date of my race, and it'll give you the schedule for the thing. Um, so they've that's got like nice. just package ones, and then ones where you can plug in the date. And, and that's what I used um, primarily once I stopped working with actually like running coaches. I just um, googled that. Ultra la- uh, ladies free training plans. Yes, ultra ladies free training plans. They are they are very good. Um, I know that uh, I don't know if we're going to get that too, but I know that uh, Tom's been lifting some, uh, and that so for lifting, I started off with. Um, Strongless five by five, and then I moved into a slightly modified um, thing that just kind of felt more like what I wanted. But just as a baseline, like ultra ladies and like strong lifts, and yeah, I really like strong lifts. I've not missed a day, and it just takes the guesswork out of it. Right, it it, it makes it so much easier. It's like on this day, I'm going to go do this thing, going to knock yeah. it out. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be here all day being like, uh, uh, what's next? Like whatever, you just do it and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to ask Sean because Sean works out. And I was like, yeah, Sean is getting swole. Like every time I see you, I'm either, <laughs> you look either like thinner or you're looking like more built up. Like, I don't know like what it is, but it's like, keep angles. at it. Camera <laughs> angles and forced perspective. Smoke no, but even when I see you, oh, like my arms fit so comfortably around you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going to move into some random questions. And our first one is, if you could have any talent that you currently do not have, what would it be and why? I would like to be able, as a talent, I could be fantastic to be able to speak any language. Mm. Uh, because I feel that I'm particularly terrible at um, spoken languages or written languages beyond like the very basics of the thing. And I think it would just be very useful to, and I mean, useful, entertaining a lot of different things just to be able to yeah uh, yeah to have you know fluency in every language yeah it's hard to pick like one thing that seems like a great one that's a pretty great so, one and maybe we get aliens or something i don't know <laughs> that would be awesome uh what is your favorite brewery winery or cidery um that's a toss-up so for a very long time i would have said a direct theory in Percival, virginia um and now i think it's a flip a coin between a Droit Theory and Crooked Run uh, in Sterling, Virginia. Um, Crooked Run's souring program has just been incredible recently, or in the last recently, the last couple of years, um, and it had, like was good even before that. But it's just gotten so much better. Um, and a Droit Theory just makes a bunch of really interesting, solid, like sometimes really crazy high alcohol beers. So I can't. I'm not sure that I could pick one or the other so i like them both i think about the same for for slightly different aspects of of beer so yeah they're both fantastic and um who's the who's the runner podcast that's in dc uh running running on tap running on tap tap. that when we had them on the show they said crooked run was their favorite too yeah 
Yeah. yeah. And also, Crooked Run has Senior Ramon's Tacos in it, in the yes. one in Sterling. Yes, and has it does. Right up the street in the one in Leesburg. So, I mean, like, you know, if you're going to, like, if I was going to lean one way or the other, tacos. Oh, yeah. But it's, a, it's the toss-up. I, and I, it's it's too many, right? If you, I live in a, in a land of plenty when I was in um, Ashburn, because Old Ox is really good, and Lost Rhino is really good, and just, all, it was, there were so many breweries you really couldn't go to all of them on a regular basis, but I found myself mostly going to a Dread Theory and Crooked Run. Uh, I get this super serious one. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think teleportation would be really cool because I just there are a bunch of people I don't get to see enough, and that doesn't sound very superhero-y, but uh, <laughs> from, a, <laughs> from a personal perspective, I think it would be really neat just to be able to instantaneously travel anywhere i'm not sure you know that probably there's some there's some superpower hero things i could do with that i'm sure yeah absolutely and then if you had to delete all but three apps on your smartphone which ones would you keep well i get rid of the phone because who makes phone calls uh (laughs) yeah right uh if i could keep three let me hold on i'm gonna pull out my phone and i'd be really how about a class of that i'd use some sort of i'd keep some sort of messaging app right now it would probably be signal um, there's, there, there, there are too many things. We're uh, killing him. We're, we're only three is not possible. I feel like I, I know, I've only got, I've only got like ten that I don't have to look up to get to, and so I'm like, I, I'm not sure. I, just, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Dumped. It's <laughs> fair. All right. Well, do you have a recurring dream or a recurring nightmare that you have? Not. I think it's possible. I don't really remember my dreams. Okay. So, um, no, like, I, and thankfully I don't have like the, I went to school naked. There was in a meeting naked dream. That's just my regular life. So it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That did happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everyone else's dream is just my life. It's or nightmare or whatever. It's just my life. So it's fine. Uh, no, I do not thankfully have, have I, well, thankfully I don't have the recurring nightmare and I don't, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, some people just don't remember their dreams. I, that happens. All right. So now we have the uh, James Lipton Memorial Inside the Actor Studio questions, um, which always starts off with, uh, what is your favorite word? I don't know what my favorite word is, but I sure say f- a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what is your least favorite word? Uh, it may, might be irregardless. Mostly <laughs> the podcast. Yes. That's, I love it. That's a love, point of discussion. I hate discussion. it too, but I love trolling people with it. Yeah, and well, Michael. That's, that's mostly why I said it. I don't. I don't think I truly have a least favorite word, but I, I felt like it was the. It would, you know, it, it fit in the yeah. flow. Yes, <laughs> because uh, Michael likes to say regardless, and then Diana likes to immediately respond irregardless right. every single time. Well, supposedly, it's fine. Oh, God, <laughs> terrible. Oh, God. All right, so. I get the honor of asking you, what turns you on? Everything and nothing, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect answer. It's so Sean. It is. Okay. What turns you off? Um, pointed stupidity. People that I think should know how to do things better that, uh, that, that mm. don't. <laughs> You and Michael. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love it. What sound or noise do you love? Uh, that little blurdy noise that cats make. Aww. <laughs> and what sound or noise do you hate? The rampant tinnitus that I have ringing in my ears. Oh, God. Gosh. God. Ugh. Awful. Um, now, you said you sure say a lot, but is it your favorite? What is your favorite curse word? Fuck is probably my favorite single curse word. I am a fan of a couple of different things like Jack Holster or um, or a couple of other things that I've heard in the past. It just makes me laugh. Ask someone also comes to mind. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite curse word. <laughs> Poor Michael. That is my favorite. I swear Michael, to God. <laughs> just, you just gave him a whole string of editing. That's great. I love it. <laughs> well, oh, it was all together. So I used to throw some red <laughs> in. So people were like, it was just like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, I love it. It's especially good because other people are like, 
the F word. Like they don't even. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That does happen. If you don't listen, you're gonna boop it anyway. If you yeah. or bleep it anyway, if you can't exactly. on a podcast, it's gonna bleep it out. I'm, you know, every time I say this, my case is like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what's happening. <laughs> oh god, so good. Uh, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? When I was a kid, I really wanted to be an astronaut. That really seems like a lot of work. Yeah, uh, that does. <laughs> uh i i'm not sure i think that the the work i'm doing right now i'm really pretty well suited to and it is not a single thing it's i'm 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 a jack of all trades or i'm a or a generalist i think is a better term uh i am maybe a master of a couple of them and i'm and i know enough a a lot of different things to be dangerous at at most of them uh and i kind of like that being where i am doing that and just so i just keep doing that and I just keep adding new things that I get good enough to be dangerous at. Um, so, like, I yeah, I don't know. Now, is there a profession you would not like to do? I feel like it'd be really shitty to be a police officer just because it's hard and there's a lot of problems in policing. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of them have room to, to be improved, and I think everyone's trying to make them better. It's just, man, it's hard, and I, that mm-hmm. seems like a lot more work than I want to get into. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so I get to I get to round us out with Sean. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most accurate thing I've ever heard in my life. I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. so good. Oh, Sean, you've been so great. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to plug? social media um, anything like that um no i mean my social media is all pretty boring because I, I haven't been posting a lot um some <laughs> pictures of my cats and things like that and if you want to find me it's all my name uh i mean i like cats i'll follow you there's probably some uh <laughs> it's some, cats some, and uh, him working out so that's pretty actually that is pretty <laughs> accurate uh yeah, and just, you know, and, and something, probably me in short shorts. If I'm plugging yes. anything, it's just me wearing short shorts. That's 100%. Uh, <laughs> 100%. And if you haven't seen that, you're in for a treat. <laughs> sure are. Oh, goodness. Well, thank you, Sean. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you. So I don't know how to end these things, but <laughs> this is Tom. And for Aaron, Michael, and Diana, we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Later. Bye.